My name is Kathy Steyer. I am the executive director here at Adena Mansion and Gardens. When you walk the grounds, you think about, oh my goodness, Thomas Worthington walked these grounds. Where the visitor center sets is where his orchard was. So just think we're setting in his orchard, so to say. So it's kind of interesting. And then you go out onto the grounds and you, um, once you go through those gardens, which are very beautiful, once they become fully in bloom, you're walking into the grove and the grove is in geometrical shapes um, of trees planted so it, it you can see how in the summertime when you're walking through the grove you can see how they just got mesmerized and and lost in the moment because i'm sure it wasn't quite as well groomed as it is now but I'm sure it was absolutely beautiful with the um, wildflowers and the trees once they were in full bloom. Thomas Worthington had passion. He, he wanted the state to stay as one. He didn't want the Division Act, and he fought against the Division Act. Um, and that's how we ended up becoming one state. Him and Michael Baldwin worked together to um, lobby to Thomas Jefferson and and to get Ohio to be to stay as one state to overthrow the Division Act and um, later we became a state in March of 1803. Mrs. Worthington she had to be a strong woman she was here by herself in the wilderness because this was wilderness back in the early 1800s because Thomas was gone most of the time. He was in Washington trying to um, advocate for statehood or um, as governor or senator or whatever his position was at the time. He wasn't home a whole lot. And she had to be a strong woman to be here and to run this beautiful estate on her own. How many people were here? at that time? Probably around 60 people. I would say it would have taken because they had indentured servants. They had a couple times they had craftsmen who built furniture for them who helped with the inside of the house. It really depended upon what was going on at the time. They had um, tenant farmers who worked and lived not only on this estate but he had land all over the um, area in Madison County, Fayette County, as well as Ross County. So he had people living in different areas, I'm sure in different tenant homes. I think that um, when people come they need to really take it all in. Allow yourself the time to spend here. Um, it's not a come in, go through the mansion place. We have the, the barn. The gardens are absolutely beautiful in the summertime. We have an heirloom plant sale that, that we try and sell plants that were in the garden at the time of the Worthingtons. Those plants are grown in our gardens. Our vegetables are up here in the summertime. Once they start coming off, we do have them out for people if they would like to sample some heirloom vegetables and um, ha have some of those, they're welcome to take some. Um, the donations that are given by those help us plant that garden the next year. So we do everything we, we do, we recycle it back into the, um, the site. We rent it out for weddings, um, receptions. We have a retirement party that's going to be going on up here, graduation parties. We try and tailor it to whomever calls and they start talking to us and tell us their plans. Then we let them know what we can do to accommodate them. So we do rent it out. And again, the pricing is on our website, adinamansion.com. This year we have quite a bit going on. We have our children's series, which is the first Sunday of each month, beginning in April. On the second Sundays, we have our adult lecture series. We're also trying to bring back um, some reenactment periods where we can reenact things that, that may have happened 
at that time based off of his diaries and other resources that we researched such as the statehood day drama we also do at christmas time we reenact the worthington children and and what it may have been like at the holidays during um, the 1800s when you come it's not just a hour visit it's a two or three hour visit and if you like history i think you'll be it'll be well worth your time <laughs>